It's important for bands when naming themselves to name it something after their, that's very important to them, you know, something they're comfortable with. Yes, yes. For many artists, that thing is food. Yes. It was a popular trend in the 1970s to name your band after food. For instance, meatloaf. Uh, you know what? He was the only one, just meatloaf. Yeah, I think that's. Oh, wait, wait, what about bread? I remember bread. You know what? Actually, that name references a slang term for money, but you're on the right track. I'll give you that. Anyway. Brett stood out during the decade with its use of soft, intimate rock and touching lyrics. All right, next up, the beautiful Penny Holman will be showcasing Brett's smash hit, If. We can hear you cheering from backstage, but I'm sure many of you are wondering if there's some other way you can express your incredible amount of joy. <laughs> and as your guides, we thought it would be our duty to inform you. Yes, yes. May we suggest The Rock? Ah, oh, yes, a personal favorite of mine. However, it must be done correctly in order to convey your message and ensure your safety. Yes, many a brave soul have gone down because of improper training. <laughs> Semper Fi. Yes, Michael, would you please show us how to do it? Now lift your right hand into the air. You know what, everyone, come on, let's do this. Lift your right hand into the air. Now, with your middle and ring finger, bring it down into your palm and cross over with your thumb. Now, with a look of determination, wave vigorously at the target you are admiring. A second hand may be needed. <laughs> yes, feel free to use the rock. It is coming up. Because coming up, we have men's chorus singing Your Mama Don't Dance by Loggins and Messina. <laughs> Thank you. 
know, guys, that was just the first of a trio of songs coming by Men's Chorus in that, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so, ladies, ladies, please calm down. Do not worry, you will see them later in the show. Yes. However, the Feast of Eye Candy is not over. No, no, it is not. <laughs> because coming up, we have Richard Oyarzaba, Robin Neely, Justin Carpenter, and Ben Holman singing, You Are So Beautiful to Me. Yes, these boys are here to croon and swoon your hearts and melt them to butter. Oh, I can't wait. Neither can I. Here they are, the Fab Four singing, You Are So Beautiful to Me. You are so beautiful. Uh, 
Uh, the group that was just up there wanted me to let you guys know that that song was actually dedicated to me. So sorry, ladies. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, now, now I am certain you are wanting the reason for Anthony's costume change. Well, it just so happens that the next group is going to be singing about this easily neglected clothing gem, polyester. Man, how did this stuff go out of fashion? It, it's, it's just so skin tight. It repels water, and it feels good on the skin. I mean, and plus it accentuates the pectoral and abdominal muscle for all the lady fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, but what I do know is that women's ensemble will be paying tribute to disco songs in their medley entitled Polyester Forever. Now, let's get out of something a little less loud. <laughs>
you can see, my partner here is um, missing in action, but I mean, he says he's got some important business, like I'm gonna be singing in one of the songs coming up and I gotta go change and some nonsense. I mean, I mean we didn't like him anyway, guys, did we? <laughs> yeah, who's with me? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. I'd like to take this time now to just encourage all of you guys to, during this upcoming intermission to go out into the lobby and purchase a CD of this concert. And also we're gonna have VHS and DVD. Guys, I mean, we've had such a great first act, and you know what? We got a whole second act coming up that I know you're gonna love. All right, so go out there and support those choirs. Coming up next, the one and only Jessica Bender is gonna be singing one of the only hit songs to have stuttering in it, and that, of course, would be b b b Banny and the Jets. Here she is, Jessica Bender.
How about that piano playing, guys? <laughs> Give it up, yeah! That was, that was awesome. All right, coming up next is gonna be Jazz Techs, and they appropriately are going to be singing jazz arrangements of three songs from the 70s. Now, I got a little trivia to tickle your taste buds on all these songs, so let me give that to you now. The first song is Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. Now, this song pays tribute to jazz influences of Stevie, such as, oh, maybe Duke Ellington? Yeah, that's right. The second song is, uh, second song is Both Sides Now by Joni Mitchell. I remember it. And that, she got her start in singing in local cafes and coffee shops and was signed by a certain Dave Crosby. You guys heard of this guy? Okay, I guess not. Moving on then. The third song is Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard by Paul Simon. Now, he got his start in a group called uh, Simon and Garfunkel. Have you guys heard of him? Maybe? Okay, good. All right. And just to let you guys know, I want to remind you one more time during this upcoming intermission to just, you know, get up, stretch a little bit, you know, get some water if you need, go use the lavatory. But whatever you do, make sure you are not late because we got a second act coming up that you are not going to want to miss. All right, here they are, Jazz Techs.
hands everywhere I've looked at clouds that way But now they only block the sun They rain and snow on everyone So many things I would have done But clouds got in my way from both sides now from up and down and still somehow it's clouds illusions I recall I, I really, really don't, don't know clouds at all moons and dunes and
Thank <laughs> you.